They are concentrating so much against me, my person, and accusing me of mass murdering or even money, money manipulation, which is very far from my nature. The adopting this Nazi-like propaganda is something quite curious. It comes in the picture that uh, the man there now, you see, he doesn't want to hear about the history of our country one day before he came back to Tehran a year ago and took over. He says the history of the country does not exist. There has not been a single good king in the history of Iran. So he thinks that the history of Iran starts with him on uh, whatever it was, February of 1979. That's why they are concentrating so much on me because I was the king. The history of Iran must disappear with I as a king, with the other kings, with everything that existed before February 1979. A patriot must think of the future. I am thinking of the year 2000. If we kept our youth and our population out of the orbit of the new technology, how could we be competitive with the rest of the world in the year 2000 unless we are ready to fall in the category of the fifth or sixth great nations? Now they say that boys of 15 and girls of 13 could marry. Our population explosion is 3.2 already. Soon it will become, I don't know, in the, in the, in the category of uh, 5 to 6 percent. How are they going to feed these mouth, mouths? Especially if uh, what now is making the wheels turn somewhat, that is oil money, will be finished. It's only through technology and mastering the science and the future of the world is based on technology and science. And this is only in the Western world that you could find. So the man is not thinking of the country or its future, only about his hatred against me. I'm thinking of the country, of our people, of our future, and he just want to destroy what I am. That's the difference. How do you think uh, future generations of Iranians will view your 37 years? The truth and the reality of history could not kept, be kept always uh, in the shadows. That is impossible. Uh, truth will come out in any case sooner or later. And at that point, in 50 years' time, how will future Iranians judge you? 50 years? I hope it will be sooner than that. Well, whenever I was saying, how will your people, after a period, judge you? Well, if they read history, they will see what it was before my father, when it, what it was when I took over, and what it was when I left. Do you feel that uh, your people let you down, or that you let your people down? First of all, when we say the people, we cannot talk about all the people. That's absolutely not true. I can't say that the silent majority remain silent. And if I let my people down, it was for the purpose 
purposes or purpose that I try to explain that a king cannot be a dictator and that a throne could not be based on blood. This is my only explanation for what it is uh, worth. Did, did your people let you down, do you think? Well, the majority remained silent. Is the worst thing about being here thinking of your homeland? Well, here or anywhere outside my country is the same. The question is that you cannot stop thinking about your own country. What do you miss most about it? No, what I miss or what makes me really cry is that we could have been this year, surely by the end of 82, something quite viable. And what are we now? What has it served? The religion? Democracy? Human rights? The rule of the people? <laughs>